It's Thursday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at Noon. Coming to Keystone this weekend's the first ever Queer Ski Weekend. Sheriff Jamie Fitzsimons on the Crystal Morning Show explains why he will be sending uniformed deputies. So we've got people sending some concerning messages over social media uh, towards the event. Nothing specific, but enough to have Keystone ask us to have a heavy law enforcement present over there. And usually those things, we don't like to walk around and uniforms in these events because it sends the wrong message, I think. But uh, now we're trying to send the right message of let this be a nice, peaceful, fun event. For several years now, Breckenridge and A Basin have held annual Pride events with strong support and minimal backlash. The Disco Biscuits are playing Dylan Amphitheater this summer, and the String Cheese incident is livid. String Cheese is calling out Dylan in a scathing post on X. They say, you told us you were trying to get a more mellow crowd this season, and that's why we were not invited back. Why bring in a band with such a raucous crowd that is literally named after a drug? No public reply from Dylan Amp. Writes Disco Biscuits, don't worry, they'll be begging for you guys back next summer. New Breckenridge COO John Copeland agrees with you. It's been a kind of weird season at Breck. There was sketchy grooming early on. And then early season, we got a lot of feedback about our grooming wasn't up to par, and we too felt that way. And experimenting in December. We provided creative access to our chair six and T-bar terrain, first by hiking, then by cordon rope traverses, which we'd never done before. A few of you, you know who you are, you got private turns on peak six early on. We opened terrain with what we call controlled access, where our patrol is limiting the amount of people and for how long they could go in there. Then there was that massive controlled slide on peak Week seven in January. Actually, one of the largest avalanches that many of the patrollers had ever seen at Breck. And with that, we opened up the lake chutes and Snow White before we've opened up Peak 7 with Whale's Tail and whatnot, which has never been done before at Breck. Copeland blames most of these issues on low snow in December, just 40 inches all that month. Since then, the resort has seen 11 feet of snow. Forbes has just named Breckenridge one of its top six ski resorts in Colorado. Four of six are owned by Vail. The other two are Telluride and Aspen. Local avalanche danger is considerable today at most elevations in Summit and the Vale area. It's moderate below tree line. In sports, the Nuggets beat the Kings last night, 117 to 96. Today, the Avalanche played the Blackhawks at 7 on ESPN. The Nuggets face the Heat at 8 on TNT. World Cup men are on their way to Aspen right now for giant slalom. It's happening tomorrow. Women are racing downhill in Norway Saturday. Michaela Schifrin is still on the mend. She hopes to return the following weekend in Sweden. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz and Associates with American Family and Dylan, the Tigers are going to the semifinals. Number 10 Summit High Hockey beat number 2 Steamboat last night, 2-1 to one in overtime. Next up for the Tigers, they're playing Liberty on Saturday. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.